la 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 la. I'm about to start singing this shit right now. My Lauren Hill voice. Let me squeeze, let me squeeze myself. Hey, check it out, man. We're back with George Levis in the building all the way yo, from yo. Sydney, Australia, man. That's what it is. Like I told you, dog, we really appreciate the fact that someone like yourself has even heard about our show. Oh, man, you, you guys are family out here, man. It's nothing. It's and nothing. I know a part of it is because of our hoodlum friend by the it's name of the Rizza. The troublemaker. <laughs> I'm oh, just kidding, man. <laughs> Business, man. The homie Rocky, man. 86 and company. Make sure you guys check out, out their clothing, out too, man. Sure. Hey, hey, so let's talk about it because Wacko said it's it's worth talking about. I'm sure he's going to have quite a few stories, too. But South by Southwest has been Southwest going down this whole week. How crazy, was it, man? You were crazy, there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And, I mean, it, it, that's one of the places where you go and you, there's certain stories that you have that you can't tell in these type of mediums. We, we can't you know, talk about can't, some of them. It can't be recorded or broadcast, you know. But, like, apart from that, man, I mean, like, anybody who makes music, they need to get down there. They need to. It's, it's the perfect networking opportunity, you know. Everyone's going crazy. Like, I, I went to, um, and I was talking to you about this just before. I went to a pool party that Monster put on. And because, um... We're, we're affiliated with Monster back in Australia, it was all good, but like, man, everybody was there. Everyone from like, uh, Who Kid and Greenland and Static Selector to, um, to Fat Trail and Stally from MMG. And um, man, everybody was there. There was, there was a million people. I mean, it, you guys saw the photos. I mean, at George Levis, have a look. But I mean, Fun B was downstairs hanging out. It was, it was dope, it was dope. DJ Paul. Man, like I that's that's when I get fanish. When it comes to like the OGs of the South, I kind of get real fanish. You know? I, I was gonna ask you that, so it's more kind of the South, uh, you know, because I I don't get that that way myself per se, um, because I, I mean I just love hip hop, love being around it. But I was kind of you know pretty much honored like when we got to host the Rock Him show, course, you know yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Kind of like I was a little happier than normal, I guess you could say it. And, and then Jill Scott jumped on stage and was dancing oh, with him. Oh, She's like yeah, right yeah, next yeah, to me, yeah, yeah. Jill Scott. So I was you know I was a little bit happy. It's, it's all relative, you know, because like I'm 29, so I was in like the the, the ninth grade maybe when. I'm no Limit and Master P sort of really came on and then that's when I learned about Southern Hip Hop and because I make beats they were kind of doing things that were totally different from like the, the boom bap stuff from before you know so it was really pushing boundaries for me so that's why meeting guys like Bun B and, and, and DJ Paul was like yeah that's when I stopped for a minute you know Hey you know uh, one of, a Down South song that just just came to my mind right now that i think it's kind of underrated i mean i don't know maybe over there it's not but to me a little bit it is but soldier slim and and, and juvenile slow motion for me that man. shit is hard as hell man, that song is hard dude, though R. I. P., R. I. yeah yeah r.i.p R. soldier slim has dude, slow again, motion dude, for like, me like the og cash money man like i still want one of those chains you know like i still want that hey man Ladies, if you're in the chat room, just slow motion for me one time. Slow you motion on the chat. <laughs> slow motion to. on your keyboard. Just do it one time. That's right. Look at it. Shade even has the sirens. Look at them. On point, man. <laughs> hey, so South by Southwest, though, you, you definitely think it was worth your man, time coming incredible. all the way down. Like, even on a fan level, like, even if, 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 you, if you just love your music, it's cool. I mean, like. It, there, there's a Pusha T show down down the street from a Rick Ross show that's down the street from Tyler the Creator show. It's, in, it's incredible. It's incredible. Hey man, I, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry to go here, but I, I just saw one of the, you know those memes that they send like on yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah. and shit. <laughs> And it had, uh, oh, what did it say? What, what, it was Ross, what, man. Yeah, it was Rick Ross, dog. I feel bad for that. No, you and know what? Said, I don't feel bad for him. He's got Maybachs and shit. I don't feel bad. I don't feel yeah, bad dog. at all. I don't feel bad that he has a nice pair of tits. Hey, but, <laughs> dog, it was a meme. He's, he's worked on that it was, shit. <laughs> it was a meme, and it said something about, you know, when you, you can't wait to get home and take your take bra. Your bra yeah, yeah, and it was Rick Ross just chilling with his shirt off with have tits you, Have you seen the one where he's got... Him looking at, at a bucket of KFC and it says, I pray to God I look my killer in his eye. <laughs> no, I, I haven't seen that one yet. I, I'm late on that one, man. Uh, yeah, that's the, foul. These memes are out. Yeah, they are foul. They're out of control <laughs> right now, man. Hey, uh, let them know, too, uh, where they can get at you, man, and check out all um, your music, your production as well, man. Man, my Twitter is kind of shit right now. Don't look at that for it. Like, I, haven't, I haven't tweeted for a long time, but just go to um, at Jordan Levis on Instagram and it's got all the links to everything. That's like... 
That's all you need. Your Instagram's active, though. Like, yeah, I go hard on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're vibing it out on Instagram, man. You, and, and then you got all those flicks with the, with some of the homies yeah, you yeah, mentioned, Yeah, yeah. I sort too. of just stopped anybody who was remotely famous and made sure they got in a picture with me so that I could exploit it. Does that explain why you didn't take one with Wacko? Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't I know. I, I, guess I just had to clown him because oh, he's not here. No, no, no he, he, he got some drops and stuff for the show. That's what happened. Oh, yeah. He, he, uh, he's out there doing his thing, man. Yeah, and, man. He goes hard. He, he, he is he, the he, visual he, part of B-Side Show, though, he, he real talk. He works hard. Like, and and, and I'd, never, I'd never met him personally until until last week, and, and he was just, like, working the whole time, you know? like He's more of an asshole in person, huh? <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing, man. That, that's the homie Wacko, man. I hope you're tuned yeah. in, man. We'll see you when you come back this week. He might be tuned in. He was probably worn out in his hotel room. Lost on. He said his flight was at ten, so he's probably tonight still, or tomorrow. You probably know tonight. more than me. Oh, it, it might be. Tonight. It might be. But um, yeah. So he's probably still getting fucked with by TSA. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's in the. He's still in the luggage line. Hey, and besides that, DJ Shady misses him. He's like a father figure to him. <laughs> He's, he really misses him. Hey, ch check it out, man. We'll be right back after this video, man. Let's play that yellow dress, Whitey. Yellow dress. Check it out, man. Right after that, we got Vel the Wonder right here in the building on the B-side show. Act like you know.